You've had uh, quite a successful career, both on the Seahawks and most recently on the 49ers. Um, you know, one of the things that we've noticed that you've been kind of talking a lot about through your career um, is just this idea that, you know, you are your own essentially agent. So um, can you talk a little bit about like when you first kind of started kind of joining the league, how the process went, what your point of view was? The better informed you are. Uh, about what's going on in your career and your contract, the, the better decisions you'll make and the better it will be for you long term. And I think that's the thing with a lot of guys in our league is that they don't necessarily take responsibility for everything that goes on in their lives, whether it's their finances, their marketing, their contracts. And so it leaves them handicapped once they leave because they're always dependent on somebody for those those things. Somebody always handles it. Somebody does does their finance. Somebody's always written their contracts and read it for them. Somebody's always managed their finances, their stocks, their investments. And so once you're done with the game and you're done, you know, having people run those things for you, you're left handicapped. So that's that's why I've always felt like I need to to be informed early on and, and educate myself. Hi, I'm Richard Sherman, and I'm informing people. Listen up. This is how you get out of credit card debt. This is how you budget. This is everything you can do to avoid payday loans. You know, when other when you're talking to other players that are kind of a you know on the you know in the rookie season or about to get drafted, um, is do you, are they calling you for help or how would you you know what would you tell somebody that's uh, younger about to join the league? Um, well, different people have, have have different levels of preparedness. Some guys come in and and they've been educated and they've been taught how to manage money, you know, how to budget how to write checks, um, how to pay bills, how important credit is, you know, and so they have a better starting foundation. Other guys come in and they don't have that same foundation. But also, it's in the same respect, they have people around them that usually help them with things like that. And um, you just try to make sure they're not getting taken advantage of. But um, there aren't many guys who just call and be like, hey, man, I need help with this, 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 and this. Um, mm -hmm. You know, guys that, that inquire, you know, usually inquire about things they, they're already involved in. Or, or once once they hit like a, a bump in the road, you know, maybe you help recruit them. But you know, a lot of them, like I said, depend on the people that they hire. You, we've we, we read somewhere that you bought Tesla around like thirty or forty bucks. Do you still you still involved in in the stock market and um and and placing some uh some investments there? I stopped dealing with the stock market probably my rookie or second year. I don't I don't I don't believe in it the way most people do. You know, Tesla was just an investment that I was in the Silicon Valley. I went to Stanford. I was very aware of the company and the technology that they were developing when I was in school. And so once they went public, I knew they'd do well. And I had the information and, you know, and the knowledge of the company. So I felt comfortable making an investment, but I, I got out way earlier than I should have. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't touch the stock market anymore. I, I, you know, just like right now, most people don't understand how everybody's going broke and the economy's going downhill and somehow the stock market and people are still making money in the stock market, you know? It doesn't make sense to me, and, and until it does, I won't touch it.